Today's practical is deal about synthesis of phenastine. So how can we synthesize phenastine? It is very simple. You guys are know about the paracetamol. This is the structure of paracetamol. And the further reaction of paracetamol we will get phenacetine. So let's start with that uh, synthesis of phenacetine. First we will check the background. Pa paracetamol known as a estophene and phenacetine are non optoid analgesic both are depicted in figure 1 this is both the structures difference is only the OH and OC2C2H5 acetaminophenone was synthesized in 1877 and first used in, in humans in 1887 by the German synthesized by the German company Bayer and it was principally used as an analgesic drug. So phenacetine is a acetophenylidine and for ethoxy phenyl acetamide is widely used as a pain relieving or fever reducing drug. It is a most widely used non anti inflammatory medicine to moderate pain relief and fever re reduction. So that is phenacetine analogous to acetaminophen was utilized for near 100 years ago there is some history of that one that is used like although it is very effective as a non optoid analgesic physician and the FDA had concern with this carcinogenic properties as well as its negative effect on the kidneys. So phenacetine analgesic effects are due to its action of sensory tract of spinal cord. In addition phenacetine has depressant action on a heart where it acts as a negative inotrop it is antipyretic acting the brain to decrease the temperature set point and it is also used to treat rheumatoid arthritis and the intercostal neuralgia. So it is also used for that kind of disease. Now we are to be discuss about the principle of the phenacetine. So the principle is deal with that acetophene will be accomplished via Williamson ether synthesis and will be synthesized by Williamson ether synthesis. This is a reaction between the alkoxide or phenoxide with methyl or primary alkyl halide. The ethoxide reacting with methyl iodide to yield compound ethyl methyl ether. So like that this is a ethoxide with methyl iodide in the presence of some solvent yield methyl ethyl ether that is methyl ethyl ether. The requirement of this one is acetaminophen, K2CO3, methyl ethyl ketone and ethyl iodide particularly for the mole ratio like here the all mole ratio is given for you so now we will take a mole ratio for that one so here we take a A is a B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J that is Q, R and S so now we will switch to the first get a Q but before that we will take a moles of acetaminophen so how we take C is equal to 3.0 divided by 151.16 and for that we will get 0 0.019 this is a mole of acetaminophen so the, the mole of acetaminophen if you want to carry it out or if you want the mole of K2CO3 then the formula Q is equal to C into F into E we will get the exact gram of the K2CO3 which is 3.977 another one is R so how we get the R the same C into G into H is equal to 46.19 gram of methyl ethyl ketone but it had de density 1.1 so is 42 ml and then S C into I into J is equal to 7.55 gram divided by density 1.98 then we will get 3.81 ml so that is the the Q is the weighing of that K2CO3 how much amount you take 9 7 gram approx 4 gram 
here is equal to 42 ml and here is equal to 3.81 ml so that you have taken for the synthesis so in next step we will discuss about the reaction is when acetaminophen or paracetamol reacted with methyl ethyl or isomethyl iodide that it will be convert to phenacetin and how it will become and how it will convert let we see in the next mechanism portion so in the mechanism if we add k2co3 to that paracetamol it will abstract the proton base always abstract the proton and form anion that anion attacks to that ethyl iodide and after attacking the ethyl iodide we will get that kind of intermediate compound where i also attached to it when the negative then the density of carbon is increased so it will be try to re remove the iodine to fulfill that valency and after the transfer the hold the valence in charges we will get our compound phenacetin that is our compound with ch2 ch3 so that is our mechanism the third one is procedure so the procedure is first of all you take 2 g of acetaminophen weigh 2.65 g of k2co3 add methyl ethyl ketone 27 ml to 100 ml rbf add ethyl iodide 0.64 ml via series followed by the magnetic stirrer on hot plate turn the stirrer on low flame the stirrer bar should be allowed to spin at a rate of sufficient mixture the heterogeneous solution and note that the k2co3 will be not dissolved in solution so k2co3 is remain undissolved in the solution so not not try to dissolve it at as the condenser reflux for 1 hour then after 1 hour finished reduce the heat 50 degree and let the rbf cool to the touch then add a 10 ml of water into the rbf use then uh, separating funnel using separating funnel just try to get the back the organic layer extract the organic layer with 5% water NaOH add 2 times 16 ml of water again wash with brine dry the organic layer with CaCl2 till 5 minutes and then decant the CaCl2 evaporate the solvent isolate the product obtain IR NMR for the product and starting acetaminophen so next we will discuss about the calculation in the calculation portion the starting material or the starting reagent is pa paracetamol so the molecular formula molecular formula both starting and the product is here the molecular weight of pa paracetamol is 151.16 g per mole and the molecular weight of salol is 179.22 g per mole the theoretical is we can calculate 151.16 g paracetamol forms 179.22 g phenacetin so we can get b value The theoretical yield is this one. The practical yield, what we get is 0.9. So, from the practical yield and theoretical, we can get a percentage yield. So, practical yield divided by theoretical yield is equal to something x amount. So, we will get here the percentage yield. Now, it is fine till the calculation. So, our compound is dried, and let's we try with the IR spectrum. In the IR spectrum, we look at the here. There is a three three five zero centimeter inverse. there is a one p the another is the here the next one is the here so we will look about that nh co ch3 and o co to ch3 stretching vibration frequencies and we can write it down here in centimeter inverse so the next graph is the mass spectrum and the mass spectrum is very easy to solve as well because here if you see there is a 178.11 and 180.01 so as seen before here is a 179.22 so here about 179.11 so that is m plus peak and that that is m plus 1 peak so the mass spectrum confirms that yes there is a there is a formation of phenacetin is done through the molecular weight calculation and the final the stuff which can be identified perfectly whether that is the phenacetin was uh, prepared or not with the helping of nmr technique so here let's see first 
that CH3 is the ending of the corner, that CH2 is the mid and next to that hetero atoms. So that CH3 comes at the position here, so that is the CH3. The second which is comes, you will see here that is that one CH3 because it directly attached to the C double bond O due to inductive effect it is just slightly higher than the terminal CH3 or alkyl CH3. So that is CH3 CO CH3, that one CH3 is here, that this CH2 it feels multiplied due to that one because here 3 hydrogen to 3 plus 1 4 so it is multiplied it is clearly visible here. So that is CH2 which one which is next to the O. So now next we will switch to the 6.83 hydrogen so that is 2 hydrogen of aromatic ring that is seen a doublet of 6.83 it is a doublet of 2 hydrogen that is again 7.45 it is also a doublet. 7.45 it is for 2 hydrogen and that is NH which is very high due to that negativity of the C double bond O as well as the N uh, nitrogen element. So it is 9.86 at 1H sorry 9.86 for 1H and singlet that is singlet. So that is all about the NMR spectrum of that particular compound. Now what is the result table? So in result table you have to filter all the details. And here you have to write the compound which you will get from here, write the group which is present and here the percentage yield what you get throughout the practical. This is a reference from where I will get that whole information and thank you for watching.